Hey everybody, Abe here from CMF HQ in Decatur, Georgia for another Tips and Tricks. This week we're going to show you how to make a movie for CMF on iPad. The first thing you need to do is make sure your camera is set to record to iFrame. This is important because iFrame is one of the only video codecs that's compatible with iPad. In order to set up your camera, first go to Menu, then Record Setup, then Record Mode, and finally choose the iFrame 960 by 540p option. Now you're all set to shoot your movie. Once you're done shooting your movie, you'll need to import all your footage onto iPad. First, eject your SD card from the bottom of the camera by flipping the tab up and pushing down on the card. After pulling out the card, insert it into the SD card reader. Now you're ready to start using iPad. Take the SD card reader and place it into the bottom of iPad, just as you would a normal Apple charger. After you've inserted the SD card reader into iPad, your clips will show up on the screen. Scroll through the images and select the ones that you want to use. A blue check mark will appear on all the clips you select. Once you've gone through the footage, press Import Selected. You'll notice the blue check marks turn green once each clip has been imported. When you're done importing, simply remove the SD card reader from your iPad. Make sure you put the SD card back into the camera so you don't lose it. Now it's time to edit. Open iMovie and create a new project by tapping the plus icon. You will notice that iMovie already tells you how to add media. Just tap the film and music notes symbol. Now you will see all the video that you have imported. Tap on the clip you want and then click on the blue down arrow to add it to the timeline. You can continue to add clips to the timeline in the order that you want. Now I'm going to show you some tips on how to navigate iMovie's interface. You can name your project by going to the main menu, highlighting your project, and tapping on My Project. Type the name you think fits best. If you want to edit a clip's in and out points, tap on the clip and move the yellow sliders back and forth to shorten or lengthen the clip. You can also make a more precise cut by moving the playhead to the exact position where you want to cut the clip, tapping once on the clip to select it, then swiping down the playhead with your finger to split the clip. To quickly move a clip to a different spot in the timeline, just hold your finger down on the clip to pick it up, and then place it where you want it to go. To delete a clip, just tap it twice and select Delete Clip. You can also press down on a clip and then move it out of the timeline. You can easily go to the beginning or end of your movie by holding your finger down on either side of the screen. You can also zoom into the timeline by placing two fingers on the screen and moving them away from each other. Zoom out by pinching your two fingers together iMovie automatically inserts a cross dissolve between each clip. To change the transition, tap twice on the icon. You can choose between None, Cross Dissolve, and Theme. Theme transitions will vary depending on your project's selected theme. If you want to add a voiceover or any additional recorded audio, first scroll to the place in the timeline where you want the new audio to begin. Then tap on the microphone symbol. Press Record when you are ready. Press Stop when you finish recording audio. Then press Accept. To add music, tap the media icon and select audio at the bottom of the screen. You can use theme music or pick something from the songs available in iTunes. iMovie also provides sound effects. If you don't want your music to loop, you can go to the settings menu in iMovie and toggle it to off. You can add a title to your movie by double tapping on a clip and then tapping title style. Choose the position that you like, then tap on the outline box that says title text here and type in the name of your movie. If you want to preview your movie in full screen, head back to iMovie's main menu and tap the playback icon. Once you're ready to export your finished product, tap the share icon on the main menu, then tap camera roll. Tap HD 720p to ensure image quality. Your movie will be sent to the photo app in iPad. When you come back for collection, we'll take care of the rest. We really think that creating movies with iMovie on iPad is a powerful and versatile way to share your stories and we think that you'll think the same once you give it a try. Now you should be prepared to make your movie on iPad. Have fun, and if you have any questions, make sure to contact us here at CMF.